Hello guys, it is Zaley Barclay of ZaleyBarclay.com. I am the creator of the Start, Shoot, Grow Video Academy. And today we are talking about some really interesting stuff. We are talking about Notion. So let me tell you, I've been using Notion for a while now and I used to love Trello. And you guys know I have videos about Trello on the channel, but let me tell you, Notion is the thing. And there are so many videos about Notion in the online space, but obviously I always find a different way to use these tools. And I wanted to share some of that with you today. I've been using Notion inside of the Start Shoot Grow Video Academy and the people in there have been loving the way that I've been using it for my online courses, but I also use it for my video content and my video content creation process and all that jazz. So I decided I'm going to take you guys on the back end of what that looks like today. Now in this video, I am sharing how I actually come up with my ideas for my video content, what that looks like. And then I'll be sharing a little bit about the tool that I created inside of notion that you can actually purchase if you care in the comments as well not the comments, the description box. I'm super excited, but leave me a comment and let me know if you are using Notion, if you've ever used it, if you've ever heard of it, I'd like to hear what you're thinking below. Now, before we get into the full on video, let me just tell you a little bit about why I chose Notion and why I chose to stick with Notion and build with Notion. Don't get me wrong, I love me some Trello, but with Notion, I can actually expand my thoughts inside of you know the document that I'm creating or you know, um, the table or board that I'm creating. And I'm going to show you a little bit more about that in a little bit, but I really like that I can have everything in one place. When I use Trello to expand my video ideas, I would have to expand probably in that little description inside of Trello or in Google docs or something like that. But with notion, I'm able to just go through the full on process in one place. So let's dive in and see what that looks like. Okay, so here is what Notion is. This is my editorial calendar, which I'll explain to you in a little bit or explain to you about in a little bit. But what I really want to show you is just what Notion really is. It's a hub where you can add anything. You can put anything that you want into Notion. Think about Evernote, but with better capabilities. And so when you get into Notion, um, it's not going to look like this because I've been using it for so long. So I have so many things in there. But usually a new blank page looks a bit like this. So you can add a new page and I'm just going to name this page test. And when you open up a new page, you can add an icon. You can also change that icon. You can upload an image for an icon. You can pull a, an icon from a link. You can also add a cover and you can also upload your own covers and change things around so that it feels good to you. So that's one thing that I do love about notion. They give you a blank page that you can really create your own beautiful uh, page in, right? So I'm just going to remove all of the things I have going on here and I'm going to make this page a full page, right? So I'm going to head over here and make it full width. Sorry. And that means that we'll just get the full screen of what is going on. Now, what I want to make sure that I do is go back up there and you can change your cover. You can change it to a color. You can change it to a picture. You can change it to whatever, right? And so you can um, start just with an empty page or you can go into templates. Now, what I love about Notion is that you can create your own templates. And I think that is so powerful for a creator because you're able to do so much. And I'll show you my templates that I created for video content as we move along. I love making sure that I have my content all planned out and I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. So here you can also uh, click on table to create a table. You can create a board, you can create a list, you can create a calendar, so many things guys. Like listen, get into Notion and play around. I'll leave some links down below so that you can have your own Notion, right? And so if you head into templates, you can also tap into some of their templates that they already have. Notion has templates. They have templates based on marketing. They have templates based on human resources. They have templates based on engineering. So many beautiful things. So you can do so much in Notion. And for me, one thing that I really love doing in Notion is mapping out anything that I have going on. I even map out my masterclasses in Notion and I'll link that video that I have where I mapped out a full masterclass on YouTube so that you can see what that looks like. 
For me, I use it for so many things, but I love making sure that I have a few things going on that my team can also access. So for me, I love when I am able to use Notion to map out my content schedule, you know, um, what's going on in all aspects of social for us, and just editorial ideas that we might have and that we might want to work on. And then we're able to go in and make sure we have things mapped out as it pertains to the month or, you know, um, even the year, right? So in my calendar, I make sure that we are um, using templates and I'll show you that you can duplicate my exact calendar and notion system down below. I'll show you, I'll leave a link for that down below, but this is what you're able to do. You're able to just stay up to date with all of the things that you have going on in your business, especially recurring things that I like being able to see a full overview of what we have going on. Now, the other thing that I love is making sure that we have monthly goals, important dates. Like I want to be able to see all of these things and check things off. And you can see here that I even plan out some of my video ideas here. I just brain dump in Notion inside of my editorial calendar so that we know what is actually going on. But what I want to take you over to is my YouTube planner. It's something that I really, really, really love. And I use it all of the time. And you can even see with this video that I'm talking about here, I even planned it out here. Now, I am able to get in here and just, first of all, get a few things going as it pertains to the status of my video. So let's say I'm planning out a video. So let's say I'm planning out the video the best natural supplements for anxiety and depression. I know that this video, I have not recorded it yet, so it's pending research. I always research a topic before I do it, right? And so I'll leave pending research right there so that if my team looks at it, they know where what's going on with this video. Or even if it's for me alone, I wanna know, have I researched that yet? Have I created that thumbnail? Is it pending research? And inside of the template that I have down below, you get all of this as well, right? And so you're also able, because I teach you as well how to add your own tags so that you can manage your system the way that it works specifically for you. Now, a research link means that I researched on YouTube and I found a list of videos and I'm gonna copy and paste that so I can really get into research when I'm done. And that is always um, really helpful for me because I batch record my content. I wanna be able to come in here and just go through things and just get things done. So for me, I will create four YouTube videos in one day. As a matter of fact, right now I'm on video four for the day, right? But that's because I've already done my research, I've already mapped things out, and I've made sure that I know exactly what I'm doing as it pertains to um, my video content, right? Now, the other thing is the type of video, and I have a few types of videos here, and these are also tagged in the version that you will get as well, but I have a free class down below that will let you understand what each of these types of videos are and how they make a full-on difference inside of your business. So there are videos that you have to be hitting those points, whether it is a fun video, a functional video, foundational video, a live video, or a financial financial video, I want you to head down below to that workshop so that you understand exactly what those are and what they mean. But for me, that's where types of videos go. Now, the cool thing about my planner is that you get my video strategy along with this amazingly organized system, right? And so I'm able to also choose my content topics. So I have a few content topics and I teach you how to add yours in there too, so that you know if your video is based on you know business tools, which is one of my content pillars, you're able to choose business tools, right? you're able to choose productivity and management because sometimes your pillars can mesh, meaning that I might be thinking about a business tool, but it might also have um, productivity and time management capabilities. So you want to be making sure that you're very clear on what you're creating as it pertains to YouTube. The next thing is sometimes I have affiliates or sponsorships or companies that I work with, and I want to make sure that I'm seeing that and I'm able to actually 
you know, write, uh, keep track of who I'm working with and what I'm working on, or make sure that I'm creating affiliate content that is actually adding to a stream of income in my business, right? So this, this planner is really for people who are focused on business and they want to make sure that they have things organized and that their video marketing is leading towards some sort of income and that you're aware of where it's coming from and how you can maximize what even better. And when I say what, I mean what types of content, right? Even better. Then um, business goal. I always want to know what my, what is the end goal of this video? What's the reason that I'm creating this video? And so for me, um, let's say it was this video. I might put that the business goal would be to um, create a video about a specific company so that I'm on their radar. Or it might be a video that leads to a masterclass that I'm offering within the next month. So I want to be really intentional about what I'm creating. And then publish date. You can choose your publish date here. And, you know, when you're done posting that video, you can add the link to it here, right? Um, and this is not my actual calendar. I'm just giving you guys a walkthrough of an example of a calendar, right? Now, or a planner, my planner. <laughs> now, the other cool thing about this, guys, is when I, let me scroll. So I actually always just bring brain dump videos into here and then I pull it over to my official planner. But what I'm going to show you is, Okay, so let's say I'm speaking about um, a video. Let's let's just call it test right now, right? And I add test there. When I open test up, I am giving you my preloaded video planner template. Now that is going to populate into your notion when you open it up, right? And like I said before, the link for that is down below. And listen, when you populate that, you're going to get my full on video pro planner and strategy that I use to create every single video that you see me uh, do in the online space, right? So I wanted to show you how easy it is to populate that template. And inside of that template, I have a script where you can script out your full video in there as well. Now, let me show you one of my favorite ones um, to talk about this video here which I did based on Tabitha Brown. And it's so funny because someone actually found that video the other day and reached out about it, which is so crazy, right? But if you look at it, you'll see all of my, what my business goal was. I didn't have an affiliate or sponsor. That was really a video I wanted to do for community. Um, you can see the type of video it was. It was a live scheduled video. I did it live. Um, it was with the intention to expand audience and it was also for community and my community really enjoyed that video. And so um, you can see the status is it was a live session. So I want to know at first glance, this was a live session and it's complete because it's done. I did it a while ago. And then I put that research link because I researched all the videos that other people created about tab before. Now, had I not had my planner, I would not, well, because I do YouTube all the time, I know my um, sequence and structure for recording, but let's say you are not used to YouTube just yet, or you maybe you are, but I'm giving you a flow or a system inside of this planner that you're able to just easily flow through with. Now, I knew everything I wanted to say. I did all of my research. I added all of my links. And the cool thing is when you buy this planner, you're also going to get all of the instructions and everything that you need in order to use this planner effectively, right? Because I don't play games with that. So you're getting a full on course and walkthrough along with your templates so that you can use your planner, put your planner to good use and grow your business at the same time. Now, here's the thing. So I knew all of the reasons why I was sharing this video. And on top of that, what I made sure to do was script in here. So your script is inside of your template. Inside of every template, there is a place for a script. And you get to copy all of this, right? So I'm taking everything that I have built over the years. I've been doing videos since 2014, guys, consistently, showing up consistently on the internet, growing a brand and business. And so I'm taking everything that I use and giving it directly to you inside of my Notion templates, right? And so the cool thing is that you will have everything. You will have me guiding you through how to use this exactly. It's the easiest thing on earth. My Start Shoot Grow students 
love Notion and they love the way that I created Notion. And so um, you're also able to have your checklist for repurposing, right? So all of the ways that you can repurpose, I actually give you all of that so that you can just check that off. If you know that you've done every one of them and we have, you just check it off easy so that you're making sure that you're making or, or you're getting the most use out of your video content as possible. Because when you create one video, yes, it can work for you on YouTube, which I love. So the cool thing about uh, me and video content <laughs> is that for me, when I need to step away, I can step away from my business because YouTube is actually working for me. So when I publish a video on YouTube, it's doing its thing for me. I don't have to do too much as it pertains to uh, being on Instagram every day and you know being out there. My YouTube is actually doing that for me. But on top of that, I could chop up that content and push it out on Instagram, pull a few tweets from it, create a blog post from it, and I give you that full on process down below as well. Now, I wanted to be sure to give you an idea of what it looks like inside of your purchase. Okay, so let's get into it. So here you can see uh, people are actually uploading or sorry, enrolling into this class as we speak, <laughs> but you get a good overview of what Notion is, how to duplicate your materials. And like I said, I have video walkthroughs of everything that you would need. I also have walkthroughs of a bonus that I just said I wouldn't share about, but your editorial calendar, I actually share, you know, my editorial calendar with you so that you're able to duplicate that as well. I share the Notion Video Pro Planner that I just showed you an example of. So you have a good walkthrough of exactly how to use that. A much more in-depth walkthrough than you got here today. Also, I shared um, a an example of one of my videos, right? And how I go about the full on process. I share how you can use your script. I also share how to stay organized using tags inside of Notion, because that's really important. And you would need to understand how to do that for your own business. The other thing that I do share is how to create your own template for each video. I really broke down everything that you need in here. And I even gave a bonus on a daily template that I've gotten so much great feedback about. People are loving this. I gave you my exact daily template so that you are able to use it inside of your process as well. And that's a game changer. So I also here, you have the links to all of your tools, everything that you would need to get access. Um, and I want you to join my free Facebook group. So you can do that in there as well. Join the Start Should Grow group. Let's welcome you and get you comfortable with being on camera. I also shared um, a bonus, my equipment guide of tools that I've been using for video content for years. And I always update it so that you know the latest of what I'm using and if you really need it or not, because I'm very particular about sharing things that you absolutely need and letting you know that you, you may not need this or you do need this. I'm very um, transparent like that. And I even share my full process for monthly video content creation. I feel like that's so important. Now I do share a, a few other things in here. Like I said, bonuses that you would uh, be able to see when you log in, but I'm just showing you a bit of what that would look like on the inside. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know your thoughts on Notion. Like I asked before, are you using Notion? Have you heard about it before? Are you excited about it? How are you feeling about seeing the back end of what I use to create my video content? So I just wanted to show you how I use Notion, why I've been using Notion, why I love Notion, and I just wanted to give you the gift of this planner at a really special price so that you are able to really get on camera and dominate. You have your scripts, you have other bonuses in there as well that I won't share, but you know, you'll see them as you go along. I've included so much inside of this product and I don't want you to miss out on it. So guys, let me know if you have any other questions questions about Notion down in the comments. I love, love, love you. I appreciate you so much and I will talk to you soon.